Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. It's me, Kylie. I'm so glad you're here because it's my favorite kind of day. A maker box day! <laughs> my favorite. Ready? Oh! It's a little plant! Oh, it's not a real plant. It's a pretend plant in a pot. But that reminds me, I do have a real plant that I was going to plant today. Do you want to come with me? Let's go outside. Let's get planting. The first thing we need is a flower pot or a flower bed, a place to plant. Next, we're going to put gardening soil in our pot or our flower bed. I'm using gardening soil because it has extra special nutrients in it that the plant will suck up through its roots and that'll help it grow nice and healthy. It also has lots of these little particles that are gonna help the roots have lots of room to breathe and grow. So it's not tight packed, it's kind of loose. Here's the plant I'm planting, a tomato plant. It smells like tomatoes. I'm gonna take it out of its pot you see all these amazing roots? That's what all these white things are. The roots are how the plant eats, basically. It's how it drinks. It's how it gets its nourishment. It gets water and nutrients from the soil up through these little itty bitty roots. Almost all plants have roots. Even the biggest tree you can think of has roots, just like this, that help keep it grounded in the ground and growing big and tall. Now, to help the roots grow, I'm gonna just give them a little squeeze so they loosen up a little bit. Now, plop it on down. I'm gonna move the soil over the top and give it a little press. Oh, do you like your new home, tomato plant? Let's name this tomato plant Thomas. Thomas. A toe. Get it? Tom, a toe. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Wow. When Thomas, our tomato plant, gets a little bit bigger, he'll have start little flowers growing all over his limbs. Like, for example, let's look at my strawberry plants over here. I'll show you. This whole box is filled with strawberry plants. Do you see all these little flowers? These flowers will eventually be the exact thing that grows into strawberries. Isn't that amazing? Do you wanna learn more about seeds with me and how they work? Let's go to the studio and do some delicious experiments. Come on. I got some strawberries and tomatoes. Not from my plants because they're not quite ready yet, as you saw, but from the grocery store. But this is the kind of tomato and these are the kind of strawberries that my plants will grow eventually, if I'm patient. Let's see if we can draw one in our scientific sketchbook. 
The leaves on top kind of look like hair, don't they? Let's cut one open and see what they look like on the inside. If you're using a knife, remember, they're really sharp. You might want an adult to do this part for you, or at least be there when you do it. Check it out. The strawberry is lighter in the middle than it is on the outside. Amazing. the seeds. <gasps> I found them. They're on the outside of the strawberry. See all those little spots? Those are the seeds of the strawberry. the only next thing that makes sense to do is taste it. Next, let's try our tomato. How would you describe this shape? Kind of a lumpy oval? That's what I was thinking. And just like the strawberries, this is bright red. seeds on the outside of the tomato? I don't. It's really smooth. Maybe if we cut the tomato open, we'll find the seeds. Do you think so? Only one way to find out. Let's do it. <gasps> wow, look. All the seeds are inside this fruit. Check it out. Let's try to draw it. and contrast the tomato seed and the strawberry seed. That just means that we're gonna find things that are the same or similar about them, and we're gonna find things that are different about them. Check it out. One thing that's different, a contrast, is that the strawberry seed is much smaller and the tomato seed is bigger. Cool. Something that's the same, a comparison, is that they're about the same color, kind of a light yellowy brown. Interesting. Something that's different, something that's a contrast, is that the tomato seed is covered in this kind of goopy material, and the strawberry seed is pretty dry. Also, if you remember, we found the tomato seed inside the tomato, and the strawberry seed was outside of the strawberry. This reminds me of a really cool project we can do together involving seeds. It's kind of an art project. Interested? I thought you would be. Check it out. We're going to make little tiny grass seed people. <laughs> Here's what you need. Grass seed, googly eyes, not required, but always fun. Some old nylons or socks. You're gonna need a waterproof glue. I'm using hot glue because you know I love it. Some thread or some of these clear little rubber bands. Some cups and potting soil or sawdust. The first thing you need to do is if you're using long nylons, trim it down to about eight inches. If you're using these sock ones, you're good to go. Stretch it out and put it over the top of a cup or a mug, just like this. Now you're gonna put some grass seed in the very tip of the sock. Then you're just gonna fill up the rest of your sock with soil or sawdust. 
you want to get it to about the size of a baseball. You're going to squish it all down and then tie this part off. Now you get to make the face. You can make a nose or ears with these little rubber bands or thread. All you do is pinch off a section for how big you want the nose to be and wrap a rubber band around it. That's a cute nose. Now some ears. Great. Now glue on some eyes, eyelashes, a mouth, whatever you want to put on this little person's face. Just a reminder, if you're using hot glue, it's very hot. Be careful, have an adult help you. Once your little person's ready to go, give them a good dunk in some water. Now you can use a yogurt cup or some other little container. I'm gonna use this baby food jar. Fill it half up with water. Take your grass seed head, put the long tail in there, put your head right on top, <laughs> and then leave it in a sunny place to grow. In one week, you're gonna start to see some hair coming up on your little person's head. Then after about four weeks, it will be fully grown and you can trim it with scissors or put it in a ponytail, whatever you want. I'm gonna make a few more of these people so that we can watch them grow together. Once you have all of your grass heads made, put them in a bright sunny spot. This is also a really good time to add any extra little details you want to or to add clothes to your jars. Make sure to check every couple days to make sure that it's not too dry. If it is, just take a little water drop or a choop, 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 wet the top of their head so that grass can grow. I am so excited to watch these grow with you. I have to wait, but you don't. Check it out. amazing hair. It's so cool and it's just going to keep growing, which means a lot like our hair, we can cut it and it'll grow back. Whose hair should we do first? Let's just give this little person a nice trim. How do you look now? Oh, very nice. Like it? Do you like it? I think this one needs a bun. Let's try it. How's that look? <gasps> Cute! Fun. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Love it. Ooh. 
<laughs> I don't want to leave it long. Maybe we can put it in a braid. Let's try it. What do you think? Love it! Do you want to check out how our tomato plant and our strawberry plants are doing that we looked at at the beginning of this video? It's been a few days. Let's go check it out. Look at our tomato plant. It's so much bigger than when we planted it, and it's doing great. The stem is getting thicker, the leaves are getting fuller, and remember how I told you the tomato plant would start to have flowers on it, like the strawberry plants? It is starting to have flowers on it, look. Those flowers will become tomatoes, and those tomatoes will become food for me. <laughs> Come look at the strawberries with me. These look fuller too, don't they? I see lots of flowers that will still grow into strawberries. And if you look very closely, you can see a few green strawberries starting to form in the flowers. Those will grow bigger and bigger. And then as they ripen, they'll turn bright red and then they'll be ready to pick and ready to eat. I can't wait. Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun planting seeds and plants with you, talking about how fruits and vegetables have their seeds right inside of them. I loved sampling some of the fruits and vegetables too. These grass heads were so fun and I loved doing their hair. If you want to make more art with me, search for Kylie Makes It, K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me, on YouTube. Your grown-ups can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And if you go to KylieMakesIt.com, there's lots of resources for educators, parents, and kids. See you next time.